Welcome back to another XSIM video. In this video, I'm going to talk about or show you how to do an uncertainty analysis, an uncertainty study in uh, uh, by using XSIM. And it's going to be based on a macro uh, which you can download for free from the XSIM website. It, it's uh, the macro is intended just to serve as a template for you to make your own uh, your own version of it with the, the uncertainties you need to incorporate in your study. But um, uh, let me go through what the macro does, and then we'll get to the to the demonstration and how it works and how it how it. Uh, how it looks. So the, the macro itself, as you may know, is a visual basic uh, version uh, of, you know, the, the visual basic programming language. And uh, the first thing the macro does is to set the max runs, which is the number of realizations that you want in your uh, uncertainty study. You have to specify that. In, the, in this demo, uh, I chose 10, 10 runs. You could choose hundreds if you want. And then I'm going to create a specific uh, worksheet within the Excel file, within the XM model file. Uh, and I'm going to call that new worksheet uncertainty. So if, if that worksheet doesn't already exist, it will create it. And it'll uh, write the headings and, and, and do some formatting things because the, the A column, the column to the left of, of that uncertainty uh, worksheet will contain uh, time data. So once that is done, uh, we're ready to run the simulation. And the first thing uh, it does is to draw a random permeability multiplier because this macro will multiply the permeability by a, a random factor, random within reason. It's you know, from a factor of two to a factor of one half, sort of in that range. Uh, it's going to multiply the whole permeability matrix, the whole uh, permeability map. And it's also going to draw a random porosity term, just add some porosity or subtract by a small amount uh, for, for each different realization. And I'm going to draw a random oil density within reason. And um, also I'm going to uh, generate a random Cori exponent for the oil-water relative permeability uh, table. <clears throat> uh, here I only use the oil Cori exponent, not the water, but you can change that too. Uh, you can do uh, lots of changes. And once I've drawn all these random uh, input uh, variables, I then, or the macro, updates the permeability and porosity maps. It generates new PVT tables from the correlations, and it generates new permeability uh, rel perm tables uh, from correlations. Uh, you, you may have real data, real PVT data, and you can s save those real tables elsewhere in your file and just copy and paste them, or, or you have to modify the macro to do that, but you can copy and paste the tables uh, however you want. And when all that's done, the macro will write down uh, the, the random parameters for the first case, or, or for, for the case that, you know, it, it's in a loop here now, that's so that the case in, in under consideration. So you can identify the case and then it'll run the simulation. 
when the simulation is done, uh, the macro will scan the production pro profile, the output uh, simulation results, and it'll extract the cumulative oil production at the start of each year. Uh, in this case, the, the macro will run a or, or simulation will run a 50, a 30 year forecast. And we're going to look at the range of what those forecasts uh, turn out to be. And when it's scanned and, and printed, uh, those production, those annual cumulative oil production data to the uncertainty worksheet, it will reset the permeability and porosity maps back to their original values in preparation for a new permeability multiplier and, and added or subtraction of the porosity. And then it'll loop and loop and loop. Uh, in my case, in, in this case, in 10 times, because I set this uh, max runs uh, variable to 10. But if you want to put it to 100, feel free, <laughs> free to do so. And when you're done looping, it'll the macro will go through the the data, the all these all the the realizations, and plot them up so you can see them. And then it'll reset uh, the simulation model itself and initialize it. That's basically what uh, what the macro does. Now let's go to um, to the simulation itself. Here's the, the model, and I've been using the, the personal edition of XM, which is a much smaller than you may be used to. This is a 10 by 10 uh, thing, 100 grid blocks, and uh, because it's faster, and I, I want this demo to be short. Uh, you can find the um, Let's see, you can go to the uh, XM, let's see, where is that? You can go to the XM website in the doc uh, page, and here you can download uh, the macro. The intention is to have lots and lots of macros that, that people can download for free. And you just click on this one and, and download it. And then uh, once you're in your your uh, uh, XM environment, uh, environment, you can go to the Visual Basic here. It's found under the Developer tab. And here's the XM, uh, XM project. And under modules, there are some macros already, but if you right click on the modules, you can import the file and then go to where you downloaded your the file from XM, XM.com. And you can open it And here. If you double click on, on that new module that pops up here, you'll see the code that this is the code for the uh, uncertainty uh, that I did. So, so let's go ahead and run the macro itself, the uncertainty macro. Now, I think I said that the simulations uh, are 30 year uh, forecast. They're, they're actually 50 years. That's okay. Okay, you can find the macro here under the macro button. It's in the list. You'll just look for the uncertainty there and then press the run button. And the first thing that happens, you, you see uh, the uncertainty tab is created here. So you have a new, uh, new worksheet and it puts in some headings here and and for each of the 10 cases that we defined, it prints out the permeability factor, the multiplication factor, 
and the porosity additive term or subtraction term in, in this case, in the uh, case two. And it gives oil density and Cori exponents. And under each case, it will uh, list the cumulative production of oil for the beginning of each year from 2020 uh, down to uh, the end of the forecast, which is 2070. So let's see, it's running the fifth case here now. <clears throat> and you can see here with the, uh, with the personal edition, each run takes about, I don't know, 20 seconds or so. And we got five more runs to do. It's working on the sixth, sixth run. And once the runs are completed, it'll, uh, it'll make a plot based on all these production profiles, these cum cumulative production profiles and present it in a plot so you can visualize. Of course, this is numerical data. You can uh, take differences uh, to get the annual production rates for each case and plot that if you want, or even daily production rates, uh, or you can you can take the uh, recovery factors here uh, and get a distribution of those if you like. Of course the or, or the cumulative production, which would be slightly different from the re uh, recovery factors because as you change the oil density and the porosity terms, you also change the initial oil in place. So the recovery factor is, is always relative to the initial oil in place. So here, here's your, uh, here's what, what we got, a good range of, of uh, possible outcomes with a P50 or sort of the, the mid, middle range here at about, what, 200 million barrels in this particular case. Uh, take it and modify it add to it, delete it, uh, tailor it to your needs, and I hope this will be a very useful tool uh, in the future. So that's all I had for today. I'll uh, come back to you soon with some more interesting videos. Bye-bye for now.